Hey Skeeters! Uh, we're going to talk about standard 2A and 2A states analyze how the genre of text with similar themes shapes meaning. Okay, so um, there's kind of a lot that goes into this standard here um, and we're going to break it down into a couple of different pieces for you um, just to make it easier to grasp okay so the first word I want us to look at is the word genre okay so what is a genre um, you may not realize it but we talk about genres all the time there's genres in music there's genres in fashion genres in um, shoes genres and shoes different types so um, if you haven't watched the videos prior to this, there's a couple standards before this one that talk about understanding the origins of words and like the, in their meaning. Um, knowing where words come from and kind of where they start helps us understand the meaning as a whole, the definition. So the word genre actually is a French word, it comes from the French language, meaning type or kind. Okay, so when we're talking about genres of clothing, of fashion, genres of shoes, genres of music, um, all of those things, they have a type or a kind, like they're separated into categories, okay? Um, and so the actual definition of the word genre is how something is categorized. And so, like, for example, here it's listed types of music, R&B, rap, country, classical, um, and I mean, the list could go on and on, rock. Um, and so... I mean, our radio stations that we listen to every day are even put into genres, okay? Like, each radio station has its own type of music they play. So, um, when we're thinking about, in, in thinking about the word genre in English, in the subject of English, um, genres are types or kinds of readings or texts. So, this image right here gives you several different options of different types of genres. So poetry, biographies, mysteries, fantasy. So each of these bubbles here listed are different categories or different kinds of reading or texts. Okay, so just, I mean, again, think of genre as categories or sections of ty or types of music or types of reading or types of clothing. Okay, so um, what is a genre? It is how something is categorized. Okay, so when we look back at this standard, um, we want to, we're trying to learn how to analyze how a genre of a text, okay, when you have two texts from the same genre, they're going to have similar themes, okay, and how that shapes meaning. So we've got this part about genre, so let's talk about um, texts with similar themes. So a theme, if you come down here looking at our also known as, putting it into different words, um, underlying message. So in any text, your author is going to be presenting you with information, but with that information or that story, they're wanting you to pull out a deeper meaning, an, an, another lesson, okay? Um, so when you're looking at texts from similar genres, from the same genre, with similar themes or a similar underlying underlining meaning, how does that even further shape the meaning that the authors are trying to give you? Okay, so figuring out how different categories of text with the same underlying meaning create a deeper meaning. So, you're probably thinking, what in the world? What in the world? does that even mean? <laughs> okay, and I understand because that one, this this standard is a little packed with um, things to do um, to figure something out and so um, I'm gonna give you an example and hopefully it'll kind of clear up what that means. Um, so there's two books um, that have come out in the last uh, three or four years. One is called The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. The other one is called Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Okay, both of these books, um, the main characters are young African-American kids. Uh, one is female, one is male. Um, and they're, the experiences they have in these stories are things that our world is going through right now um, with racial issues um, and things like that. But they, they experience similar things, um, and it's kind of their story about how they handle them. 
It's their story about what they have to do to overcome those things. Um, it's a story, their stories about how um, they interact with the people around them in order to stand up for what they believe in. So, again, they're two very different stories. Um, they have very different experiences and deal with different types of people. Um, but the themes are the same. So, standing up for what you believe in. Uh, being strong in the face of adversity. Um, different things like that. And so, with these two stories, both novels have similar themes, underlying meanings, okay, that are centered around fighting for what you believe in, righting a wrong, bringing awareness to a community. The list could go on. You could find multiple different kinds. But because there are two examples, two different examples that do the same thing, it kind of makes the, the stories of righting the wrong or what they believe in come out even stronger. Hopefully that makes sense. So they both are very different stories, have very different characters, have very different experiences, but they are centered around the same concepts. So fighting for what you believe in, righting a wrong, bringing awareness to something in their communities. And because they both have those same themes, when you kind of look at them side by side, you're like, oh, well, that makes sense. You understand it more clearly. Not saying that, let's say, I read The Hate You Give by itself and didn't do anything with Dear Martin and had never read it. I would still understand the themes, but because I read Dear Martin also, it just kind of makes those themes stronger. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, and so as far as being... Um, part of the testing world, um, the big thing that you need to understand through this TEAK or this standard is being able to cross um, text. So text from similar categories or genres, you need to be able to understand the themes of them and kind of pull those out and explain how they're strong. You could even use them in your writing. If you're writing an essay or an analysis of something, you can use that uh, those stories in writing and talk about how strong those themes are, depending on your prompt. Um, so there's lots of different things and um, angles to this standard. So if you're still confused, um, reach out to one of your teachers and they, or your English teacher and they will be able to help you better understand this one. Uh, but we empower, we impact, we love. We are Skeeter Nation.